subscribe to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification of the upcoming videos friends please subscribe to my channel because subscription is only thing which keeps me motivated to create more such knowledge sharing videos hello friends welcome to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer previous three parts of the pipe fitting videos we have seen pipe fitting used to change the direction to take a turn and to reduce the line size if you have missed any of the three parts of the pipe fitting video series i would recommend you to check those out as i have shared the link in the description box below please go through all the previous parts now as this is the fourth video of the pipe fitting video series the topic of our video is pipe fitting used to connect two small bore lines of the same sizes most of the small bore lines while installation requires several lengths of the pipes to be joined together or cut to facilitate new pipes while maintenance to replace the corrosive lengths of the small bore lines so let's start the topic of this video that is pipe fitting used to connect two small bore lines of the same size fitting used to connect two small bore lines first we will see the classification of the fitting used to connect the two small bore lines first fitting here we have a full coupling Second one we have is pipe union and third one we have is pipe nipple. A full coupling is further divided into socket welded full coupling and threaded full coupling. Pipe union well, is also further divided into socket welded well and threaded union. Similarly a nipple is also divided into socket welded pipe nipple and threaded pipe nipple. Let us begin with our first pipe fitting that is a full coupling. So what is full coupling? A full coupling which is also known as a pipe coupler plays an important role in joining two small bore pipe to pipe, pipe to nipple or a nipple to swedge of the same size. Full coupling is a short length of a pipe or tube which sockets or threads on its both end. It can be used to repair corrode or leaking pipe by cutting the required length and joining them again with a full coupling. Full couplings are made from same or similar materials as that of the pipe or swedges or nipples. Dimensional standard for full coupling is ASMEB 16.11. As we have seen, there are two types of the full coupling. First, we will see the socket welded full coupling. Socket welded full coupling. Socket welded full coupling is also called as a permanent coupling because it creates a permanent joint by means of a welding in case of carbon steel and stainless steel, whereas soldering or brazing in case of copper brass pipes. It is a short length of the pipe or tube with sockets on both its ends. Pipe end required for connecting or joining is plain end pipes. Socket welded full couplings are installed when no future changes in the piping systems are required. Pressure classes available in the socket welded full coupling is 3000 rating, 6000 rating and 9000 rating. Threaded full coupling. Threaded full coupling is also called as a temporary coupling. It is called so because it has a female threads which can allow them to be screwed onto the pipe and can be removed easily whenever required. It is a short length of the pipe or tube with a female thread on both its end. Pipe end required for connecting or joining is male threaded end pipes. They are usually sealed by a Teflon tape. Threaded full couplings are installed where frequent dismantling is required or in piping system that requires less pressure changes. Pressure class available in threaded full coupling is 2000 rating, 3000 rating and 6000 rating. And the most important type of fitting for connecting or joining two small bore similar pipe sizes are union. A pipe union is a semi-permanent and one type of a secured connection between two small bore pipes. Unions are similar to full coupling but they are easier to take apart and they also allow pipes of different metals to connect safely. There are three parts in the pipe union. First is a nut, second is a female end and third is a male end which are interconnected pieces as shown in the figure. Male and the female end are joined together with a nut which is used to provide necessary pressure to seal the joint. Unions are used in the piping system where dismantling of the two pipes are very often as an alternative to flange joint. The main advantage of the union joint is they are economical, easy to install and for maintenance of the joint than flange joints. Available in variety of metals such as stainless steel, cast iron, carbon steel, etc. Applications of unions is mainly in the low pressure process piping system such as fire protection system, wastewater, etc. Dimensional standard for unions are ASME B16.11. Types of union fitting as per the method of installation. Socket welded union. Socket welded union has two internal threads and a center piece which are drawn the ends together when rotated. Method of joining pipe with a union is similar as in the case of the coupling that is a socket welded full coupling or a coupler is coupled with a pipe by means of a socket welding. 
To minimize the wrapping of the seat, socket welded union should be tightly screwed before ends are welded. The weld type used here is fillet weld. Pressure classes or ratings in the socket welded unions are 3000 rating, 6000 rating and 9000 rating. Threaded union Threaded union also has a two integral threads and a centerpiece which are drawn to end together when rotated. The method of joining pipes and dismantling with the threaded union is much easier than in the case of the threaded coupling because the two pieces are not screwed into one another, they are screwed into the third piece. So when one pipe needs to come out apart from the other, the union simply screws onto one pipe completely so the other pipe may be removed on its own without unscrewing the other pipes in the system. A tape is used to seal the joint with the pipes. In some cases, apart from screwing with the pipes, they are pellet welded to make the joint leak proof. Only in the non hazardous area and where frequent dismantling is not required. Pressure classes or ratings in threaded unions are 2000 rating, 3000 rating and 6000 rating. Let's have a quick look on the difference between a threaded pull coupling and a threaded union. Difference between the threaded pull coupling and threaded union. Although the function of the both the fittings is same, that is to join two similar sizes of small bore lines, but when it comes to the method of joining or dismantling pipes with a threaded union is much easier than in the case of the threaded coupling. Why is it so? This is because a full threaded coupling or coupler is coupled with a pipe which are screwed together directly and at the time of dismantling the whole pipe needs to be turned as we can see in the demonstration. So in a piping system to remove one pipe the entire system needs to be aparted. Whereas in the case of the threaded union the two pipes don't screw on one another with only one pipe fitting but they are actually screwed on to two different parts of the one fitting. Both parts having female threads on one end whereas the pipe are connected to the male threads on the other end. The third piece that is a nut is used to connect these two parts as we can see in the demonstration. So when one pipe needs to be apart from the other, the nut on the union simply screws onto one pipe completely. In this way, one pipe can be removed without unscrewing the other pipe in the system. Third and the last pipe of the fitting for connecting two small bore similar pipe sizes are nipples. A pipe nipple is a short piece of the pipe usually provided with a male pipe threads. Length of the pipe nipple is minimum 3 inch and maximum 6 inch. This length is including the threaded portion of the nipple. Piping nipples are usually used in the process drain vents of the process piping system. Apart from this, they are used in the instrument connections and also in the small bore piping system. Materials of the piping nipples are similar to that of the pipe and the fitting by which they are connected. Dimensional standard for pipe nipples are ASMEB 16.11. Let us see type of the nipples fitting as per the end preparation. Pipe nipples are available in the variety of end combinations such as PBE that is plain both ends, TB that is threaded both ends. BOE or POE that is bevel one end or plane one end, BOE or TOE that is bevel one end or threaded one end, POE or TOE that is plane one end or threaded one end. Socket welded nipples. In socket welded nipples, three configurations are available as shown in the figure. First figure shows PBE that is plane both end. Second one shows the POE or TOE plane one end and threaded one end. And third configuration shows BOE or POE that is bevel one end or plane one end. Pipe nipples having plane both ends with no threads and is used to fit a socket welded fitting on one end and the socket welded threaded end but welded fitting on the other end. Threaded nipple. In threaded nipples also three configurations are available as shown in the figure. The first figure shows TBE that is threaded both ends. Second figure shows POE or TOE that is plain one end or threaded one end and the third figure shows BOE or TOE that is bevel one end or threaded one end. Threaded pipe nipples have male thread ends on both the ends or on one end with bevel or plain both ends on the other end used to fit a female threaded socket welded and butt welded fitting on the other end. I hope you have understood the topic of this video. Thanks for watching this video and if you like the content of my video, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel Passionate Piping Engineer. Also press the bell icon below to get the latest notification of our upcoming videos. Till then stay tuned and take care.